Yo. Jesus fucking Weezus. The Predator. This one's for sexy lady. And yes we saw it. So we're gonna try and make this one quick. And get right to the point. You ready? Good. This movie was utter fucking trash. Total fucking garbage. Horrific. Insult into the original. And we seriously wish Hollywood would stop doing milk flicks. That's what we're gonna call them. When you're milking shit for nothing more than money. And a fact that most of these writers these days have the writing skills of a two-year-old has to be faced. The next problem with these movies is one shouldn't destroy the storyline of the original out of greed. It's like rewatching a and a Terminator 2 and realizing they really didn't win. This is all nonsense and they'll be back. Personally we really just don't connect the two. But a lot of moviegoers do. So the idea of it sucks. It's one thing if it's logical but these motherfuckers start forcing illogical stupid storylines to make shit work and destroy classics. It's like they make Creed 3 and Apollo's son finds out Rocky's really his uncle and Apollo's half-brother. His granddad banged some whore during a one-night stand and they never knew it was Rocky's mother. Then you're supposed to rewatch Rocky thinking. Wow they have no idea they're half-brothers in that ring. Holy cow Apollo doesn't even know Adrian's his sister-in-law. Like give the whack forced right in a fucking break. They went from alien hunters to autism for a plot. This movie was so bad the characters in it aren't even worth addressing. Now it captured our attention for the first half. As we was trying to give it a chance. You know. Waiting for something worth two shits a happen. Until it just got totally stupid. Like they've got this alien in a lab sedated. And he just wakes up and starts killing motherfuckers in this facility. And apparently they don't have guys on standby with the equipment to take this predator out in a case of such an event. And that was actually one of the better scenes. Seems motherfuckers with half a brain would have soldiers with artillery cocked and ready just in case 24-7. Not these guys though. Oh there's some guys there they just ain't ready. Yeah yeah they got like this one guy standing back here. Daydreaming. Like what's the most dangerous animals on a planet? A lion. A tiger. An elephant. Look this thing will cut those beasts the fucking half effortlessly. But they got this one guy back here. From that point on the movie just gets dumber and dumber. Three quarters through the movie we was just waiting for the shit a hurry to fuck up and be over. There's just so much stupid shit in this idiotic movie it's not even worth mentioning. Like this alien spacecraft's getting ready off fly off and they jump on top of a motherfucker. Like we wouldn't even jump on top of an airplane taken off better yet a fucking alien spaceship. Especially since a shit could possibly be in space in seconds. Like we understand the father jumping on top of it since his son was in it. But the rest of the motherfuckers was just plain old retarded and that's what this movie was about. A bunch of retarded motherfuckers trying to fight aliens. Not to mention the military presence would have been so fucking vast if this shit was really happening. Like this is more like something that should have been a Netflix movie. Now ordinarily we'd break down the characters and storyline of the movie. This shit ain't even worth it. There's no drama. There's no suspense. The fucking music didn't fit. What do we mean? You know how you ask someone a question. And they take a few seconds to think on it. In other words they're letting it register mentally. Then they respond. Well none of that's going on in this movie. And it's so fast paced it's slow. The directing's fucking horrible. Like. Hey. Pause. Wait three seconds. Then look up like you realized something. Have the Luca concern on your face. Then respond. You know. Like a motherfucker would in real life. God's name. I think it's Hawkins. Where the hell is his body? There's no sign of it. See how he rises up like he realizes something dread is going on. How they're making you feel it. Nah nah none of that. Just fast 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 fast. Everything fast 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 fast. You don't even care about these motherfuckers. Because they're clowns. The original was badass fearless soldiers you knew were elite. What do you need us for? Cause some damn fool accused you of being the best. And suddenly they felt fear and knew they was dealing with something that wasn't human. I'm scared, Pancho. Bullshit. You ain't afraid of no man. There's something out there waiting for us. And it ain't no man. 
they get picked off one by one until only one's left and it leads to a last man stand and showdown. He's alone in this jungle. He prepares for this shit and knows it's do or die against something that ain't human out there waiting for him. And you anticipate this battle you know's gonna happen. Wondering how he's gonna succeed since you know he's no physical match for it. It's a rod. Well the clowns in this movie aren't smart enough to feel that nor did we give a shit who got killed. It's not a ride it's a joke nor did we give a damn for one minute after the second half of this movie. One of the things movie makers aren't getting these days with all their CG effects is the audience should actually take the movie seriously. Well unlike the original Predator we fucking didn't. Everything from the humans to the Predators are dumb in this movie. Like at no moment during the second half of this movie did we think. Wow they really gotta stop this Predator. Look fuck this movie. On a scale from 1 to 10 we give this movie a 2. And that's being generous. We did this half ass review for a reason. And that's to give a message. And a message is this. To 20th Century Fox and anyone else involved in this stupid project. Because it's clear from the ending of this movie y'all wanna carry this utter trash on. If you want a successful Predator movie. Here's what you gotta do. It's pretty simple. Huh. You ready? You listening? Good. Bring this motherfucker back. That simple. This ain't rocket science. Now we know Arnold's not the younger muscle-bound tough guy from the original. He's an older man. And that's what a fuck makes him perfect. He's the older wiser tough guy that once fought the fucking predator single-handedly do or die and fucking won. He's the guy who knows and has experience with what it is. He's the guy who knows. He couldn't see me. That's the first thing I do. Just let the guy walk in with a grey beard and a cigar in his mouth and let him say real cool Clint Eastward style that he knows how to kill the ugly fucking thing. Straight up. That fucking simple. The audience will love it. Do it before it's too fucking late. And don't fuck it up the way they did the old Luke Skywalker character. Next. Get a worthy cast. Some tough guys. Get the rock white Jordan Statham and some familiar faces. People we actually give a fuck about. Let him put on a fight against this creature. Which won't be easy since they totally destroyed the image of the predator with their horrific writing and directing. And don't do no stupid crap. Like we don't wanna see Kevin Hart's ass running down a street or through the jungle from the predator trying to be comedic. We know y'all love doing stupid shit like that these days. Oh it was so funny when Kevin tried to negotiate with the predator. No it fucking wasn't. We love humor when it fits and it don't with this. Next. Get a soundtrack that actually corresponds with the movie. If it's drama and suspense. We want a dramatic suspenseful soundtrack going. Like is that really that fucking hard? We're available to write the fucking music just give us a ring. And please. Get some writers and directors that understand they've gotta translate through the actors what they want the audience to feel. Now we know it's unlikely those with the power will ever see this video. And even if they did they probably wouldn't listen. However if you wanna bring the crowd and thumbs up. That's what it takes. And until our next one. Peace. We're out.